Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. Today we will talk about the extraction in the georeferencing part. You can open on the right side the US tab. In the last video we finished a project preparation so we can here select the status and change it to done. We will start now the georeferencing. In the georeferencing we want to check our project setup by looking at view display topo viewer. We will change the stamp size for this demo data to large. And activate the images. We go to photos select either by control A or with shift all the photos and we activate them. In the top of view we use the mouse wheel to zoom in and when we zoom for inside the project we see the image content. The control points can be deactivated by viewing here on the properties and here we have the top entry control points we select the column and then we deselect the control points. We want to check if the project is now correctly set up in the top of view. The top of view shows us the images with all the entries we have done in the project editor. So they should be correctly rotated. Additionally also they should fit for each strip. For example, if we take here this green little vegetation part, this circle, then it's here in this strip on the bottom part of the image. In the next image it's somewhere in the center and here in this image it's more on top. Which is correct, if the flight of the plane goes this direction then it continues and it moves further. Between the strips we also want to check that this tree here, which is on the right side, should be more into the center part. And then if we continue, it's more in the middle. And if we continue, it should be more on the left side. Same thing on the next part. So here on the right side, in this strip, more in the center. Here in this strip, in the center. And here more on the left side. This is very important to check if these, if the project setup is correct. We should not continue to extract tie points if this setup is not correctly showing us our project. If you zoom to your complete project, you see that the photo centers are highlighted. If I only select in the photo tab one photo, you see only one photo is highlighted. US Master will only process all the photos that are selected. That means if you select all photos, it will do a tie point extraction over all photos. If you only make a small selection it will only try to use these photos to do the extraction. If you deselect the selection then it will still process the whole project. So if you if no single image is selected it's like selecting the complete block. In this demo data set here now my data is correctly defined, I can start a tie point extraction. To run the tie point extraction, we can select from the right side the UAS tab and we will here use the tie point extraction. A new window comes up, which is the tie point extraction parameter dialog and here we have a default strategy, which you can run directly or if you want you can set up your own settings for the tie point extraction. To create a new strategy you can hit here a new creation button and I will call this here demo and then for this new strategy we can now select the level and the approximate initial orientation accuracy. All the functions in the settings can be 
uh, you can get more information with the what's this functionality so you select here the question mark and you go on the parameter you hit the parameter and then it explains the function in detail the pixel size for this project is 4.75 microns therefore I will use the half resolution for the approximation here we can see uh, that we don't have a post process GNSS data therefore we will stick with the weak uh, initialization accuracy and therefore also we will not use the GNSS data in the IMU as the data is not precise enough and then we can run with the demo strategy our processing by hitting the start button I start the process and the computer tries automatically to connect now the images together with tie points and uh, after the processing is through I uh, will again start the video so I stop till the process is finished the process is finished when we see both bars here completely to the right side green and instead of cancel we have a close button we also see that the type point extraction uses a first a feature matching algorithm and then goes to a structure for motion algorithm and then also we run a blunder detection to eliminate um, errors or blunders as they are called. We can close the type point extraction and I will also close here top of view and then after the type point extraction we can continue with the processing measuring control points adjusting the block but this will be shown in an upcoming video so thank you very much for watching this video and have fun goodbye